ko Trevor Maxwell, te kai hoi o tēnei waka. Hiringarehe ki ngā mahi a rehia no roto mai i a Ngāti Rangi Wewehi. Gosh, I was voted the outstanding leader at that New Zealand Polynesian Festival 1973. He rangatira mō tōna hapori, o ti rā mō te iwi Māori. There are many things that can make a good leader. You might have to be the best person in that rōpū or in that netball team or rugby team that others say, we want to follow you. Ka hoki koe ki ngā pikitia o mua ka kite koe, te tau o tana tū, i mōhio ia, i mārama ia. When you're a kapahaka leader, tutor, you have to deal with all the dynamics of 40, 50 people. It's like having to be a guidance counsellor, a marriage counsellor, an uncle. I think Māori have a natural feel for it because we are not an, a kind of an individual. We want to do things together. But somewhere along the line, someone has to step forward and step up. Make it believable and keep it true. Wahine Māori are hardwired to think about what's good for people. I know that my lived experience can help so many others. The photographs, the record of how divisive that period was. I never stand up there and say, I speak for all Māori. I just oh, I'm trying to do the best I could with something that I could do well. I'd like to do that. Take one. Take one. <laughs> you ready? You've been waiting quite a while. It must be all up by now, no? No, ka ten no play. Thank you very much. Ko te aroa te waka, ko te heia te maunga, ko te wai mimi o pekehaua te awa, ko tarimano te marae, ko tawake heimoa te tangata, ko ngāti rangi wewehi te iwi. Today, Trevor Maxwell is making history as the longest standing councillor in Aotearoa. I'll invite each councillor to make their declarations. And I just ask you to come up to this table, speak into the mic, read your declaration, and of course, sign yourself into this role for the next three years. I, Trevor Horawai Maxwell, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Rotorua district, dated the 21st day of October, 2022. Trevor has lived a life dedicated to his people, creating pathways for them and being an advocate for the communities of Rotorua. This term of council represents the 12th time he has been sworn in. And after 48 years of service, he is officially the longest standing council member in Aotearoa. However, life hasn't always been about the big stage. Trevor grew up in his own little slice of paradise. Right from the beginning, yeah, I was born here in Oahu on Maxwell Road, the grandmother's home. I was uh, maybe too much in a hurry to join this beautiful world and I came before they could arrange transport to get me into the Rotorua Hospital. I have brothers and sisters, nine of us, um, and over the various years, um, we've all lived here in Awaho not far from our marae here. And um, I look back at those times and they were, they were beautiful times. 
We had the best river in the world. Our mother and father kept a warm home for us, but simple things in life. We had to get our water from the river. We had no electricity in the house, candles. Of course, there was no television around then. We just had a little green radio that brought all the music into our lives of what's happening out in the wide world. But the marae life and the river was the playground and it provided food for us to beautiful watercress, trout, kaura in our lakes. Living amongst his people of Te Awaho gave Trevor a sense of grounding, which in later years would become hugely important with his connection to his community. I tipu Māori mai taku pāpā, pakeke mai i, uh, i waingenuing, i, i ona kau mātua, i runga i te marae tonu. I te taha o te awa o te awa hau, nā reira me pēhea e kore ai e pakeke mai ai koe i roto i te tahi ao Māori, i roto i te tahi wairua Māori. Whakapono ana au, he āhuatanga motu haki tērā ki, ki ngā uri o ngā tirangi wewehi. He iwi aroha nui ki te tangata, nā e pera te āhua o, o taku iwi. He pera hoki a pāpā, he mea whakaheke tērā ki ngā uri a, o ngā tirangi wewehi. We all played in the whole of oh, how we could go into anyone's home and play with our cousins here. Uh, our uncles and aunties just keep us back for lunch and look after one another. The doors weren't locked. It was open door. Brothers and sisters that we cared about and loved each other. And um, singing became a part of our, our own entertainment. Na papa, uh, wai marie ia i tipu ake ia i runga an i runga i tōna no marae. Nā reira, kei reira te rā huatanga, uh, e, e kore koe tawhiti i tō ao Māori i tō reo ano hoki. Nā te kapahaka, he whakawhenua i ae, he whakahoki i ae ki tōna ano ao, kei wareware i ae, uh, ko wai ia no hea ia. He whakatairanga hoki i tōna ahurea, Tēnei mea te kapahaka ne he whakawhenua i ākoe, he whakamahara i ākoe, no hea koe, ko wai koe. Ahakoa aetika, kāri i aia te reo, i mōhio ia, i mārama ia. Trevor learned leadership skills growing up in and around his community. It was also where he met Atareta, who came from a family of performers, and it was she who opened up his world to kapahaka. I think I was fortunate to have had Atareta to work alongside. I think my strong right arm was Atareta, and she was very, very strong and a leader in her own right. But we had something that we could work together, kapahaka. Yeah, our first LP record of our lōpū, we recorded this, and that's all about our Tanifa Pekehau at the Tanifa, our guardian. And this photograph of, was our first performance in what's now called Te Matatini, 1973. And I look at all the performers there, and I think of. Sadly, all the ones have passed on. I look at the George Heaney and his wife Heaney. Yeah, my late wife, Atareta. Atareta used to come out here to our church. Right across the river there is the Anglican Church, the Church of the Good Shepherd. They used to wonder why I was so keen on going to Sunday school, the family and even my mates from around here. We used to have a bridge over the river, but a flood had washed it away. So for Sunday school and for um, especially Bishop Manuhuia and Atareta, I'd row them across on the boat and take the other people who were going to church and go into church myself. 
but that was the first time I'd ever laid eyes on this pretty Morrison girl who was coming out to help the Reverend take us for Sunday school. Little did I realise that many, many years later, we would be Mr and Mrs. Trevor had been drawn into performing arts. He even got a job doing concerts at one of the local hotels in Rotorua. Myself and another cousin who we grew up together out here at Awaho, George Flavel, we used to go to parties after doing our concerts. And we always used to make sure that dinner and her sister Linda and her cousin Dixie we would take them with us to the parties, or they'd take us to parties they knew of, and we were the life of the party, and George, we would help enjoy singing and, and, and everything, and um, they enjoyed coming with us and us being with them, and we used to always make sure we got them home. That was the first time I knew, hey, Something's happening here and the future was looking bright. We got engaged and then 18 months later or so we got married. Trevor and Atareta were looking forward to settling down, but the way Kapahaka was evolving, another opportunity was standing right outside their door. Dinner was always a very family girl and Mum was at home with uh, Linda, still there, and boom, 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 there was a knock on the door. There was Howard and Don Selwyn, and they said, get up, you two, get up to this audition up at the holding it at Waiariki Polytech. We said, oh, we, we've only just got back, we're still on our honeymoon. Stuff the honeymoon, said Howard, you got the rest of your life. And um, so we said, what's this all about? And Don Selwyn said, it's the New Zealand Māori Theatre Trust in 1970. They are going to go touring around the world. Uh, they, they're going to audition right through the country and choose 75 people to go for two weeks in Manutuki, which is held, uh, that's down in Gisborne. And from that 75 people, they were going to choose 34, 35 people to travel to the Expo 70 in Osaka, Japan. Five weeks in the USSR, as it was called then. As the two weeks went on, they'd pull all the boys together and say, right, I want you to learn Pūpeana, Kuratiwaka, and we had to learn all those. And two nights later, they said they're going to take us through the haka line by line, individually, and you had to know. They want to see how quick we pick up. So really put the work in. The girls, of course, were doing poise and dinner, and I was so good at the poise and everything. I was very pleased. We got our opportunity the next day and it was totally devoted to hackers. I put everything I could into it and had the confidence, had learnt all that I should have done. At the end of it, I um, got a, a bit of an applause that came with it. I said, well, this is helping my chances of getting selected. Then uh, some two days later, we all had to go into the church in Manutuke and they announced who the team was, 34 to go away. And deep down, at the time I was like this sitting, you know, and Dinah was with me. She was non plus, she was a home girl. She'd, you know, rather stay home and or hen and mutu. She said, oh, if it don't get selected, wouldn't matter. And I was going, oh, gee, gee. <laughs> And pleasingly, so beautiful people were picked. That's about seven of us from Te Arawa. And so it was good that we had our Fano. We went away together. Morning, 
After performing his whole life and travelling the world with kapahaka, Trevor and his wife set their sights on the national stage, the Polynesian Festival, the mecca of kapahaka. The goal was to take Ngāti Rangiwewahi to the top. The Polynesian Festival had its inaugural year in 1972, where the best of the best kapahaka performers took to the stage for the very first time. The following year, Atareta and Trevor led their group onto the stage and wowed audiences. Gosh, I was voted the outstanding leader at that New Zealand Polynesian Festival 1973. Thoroughly enjoyed that performance that day and uh, feel very proud. Ngāti Rangiwewehi quickly became one of the powerhouses of kapahaka, but it was 10 years before Trevor and his team tasted success. And then we came to 1983 and we pleasingly won that day. <laughs> I always impress the Ponyo group. You have to be consistent with every item that you're going to perform for the aggregate. Be as strong as we can for the haka, but every item, if you weren't in that top three, first, second, or third, you're going to hurt your chances. And it proved for us that time where we had a placing in all the six discipline items that you need to provide. Under Trevor and Atareta's tutelage, they also won in 1986. From then on, they would be one of the elite groups of the National Kapahaka competition, competing for placings each year, winning again in 96, and creating anthems such as Pukaki in 98. that I kept a lot of photographs and albums at the time over the years because I do, it's a good recording. Look back years later. Kau mai wa tau taku pakeke kamate taku mama. Kare te nuenga i te mohi o engari i, I tau maha tona ngākau. Uh, ka krihime te mātou, te rā whaimuri mai i te krihime te kamea ia. Oh, um, ia hua rongo ana au i te tau maha i te māwiwi. I think me hare ahau ki te hohipera. Ka hare mātou ki te hohipera o rotorua. Uh, ka mahi ngā whaka mātou tau ka ki ake rātou. Um, Me hāre koe ki Waikato, me whai koe i te tahi um, triple bypass surgery, nā he āhuatanga nui te nane. She had her um, triple bypass surgery and didn't quite, um, it wasn't a successful surgery. She didn't die on the operating table, but when she came out, um, she wasn't recovering and... Um, about three days after her surgery, yeah, she passed. I mohi o ahau ki tōna aroha nui ki taku mama, engari reira ka tino ki te ahau. I tōna āwangawanga, i tōna taumaha, i tōna pauri. Um, ana, ka mate taku mama. You know, he, I'm sure he's said this, but he often says that it was like his right arm being cut off. And um, that's so true. When you're a kapahaka leader, tutor, you have to deal with all the dynamics of 40, 50 people. It's like having to be a guidance counsellor, a marriage counsellor, an uncle. And yet when I first started, 
Most of the people in the group were much older than me. But I see that as something you can take on to other parts of your life that can transfer over into other areas and vice versa, perhaps. If you know that somebody is really good at be it sport or be it in their life, they also may be in their working life, might be a lawyer or a radio announcer or work in television. Try and work to their skills, bring out some leadership qualities that they have. Nineteen seventy-seven, prior to the election that year, the late Sir Peter Tapsell, he came along to me, and I was working at Smith and Smith Paint and Joinery at the time, in between travelling overseas for shows, and he came sign here, join the council for the elections. I know nothing about councils or anything. I wondered what I got myself into getting phone calls in the middle of the night over the fluoride issue. I didn't even know what fluoride was. I thought there was a new girl in town. <laughs> For 11 years, I was deputy mayor here in Rotorua and chaired many of the committees that we have, represented us um, at conferences or around the, around the Motu. So I'd given 48 years to local government in New Zealand, 45 years with the Rotary Lakes Council and three years with the Bay of Plenty Regional Council. And we were also on the Māori councils called Te Maruata, members who are Māori on a committee in Wellington, and we were on there, always trying to encourage more people to stand. I take my hat off to Minister Nanaya Mahuta, who is the local government minister. She has been brave and bold to do some initiatives that have now brought on more Māori involvement by having Māori awards for people to participate. Make up! <laughs> I never joined to be a councillor for the money because five dollars a meeting we got in there in those days so it was a wonderful honor and i've been honored and privileged of being a councillor all this time to be there not only representing your people but the community and you can offer a perspective i never stand up there and say i speak for all maori i said i can give from a personal experience a perspective From the heart now, this is um, my proud immediate family, Ine and Zongopai, Kahurangi and Shay, and all my beautiful Mokopuna, Atareta and her sister Hinemanawa Nui, Maka and Horo Waiwai, and Kahutarena. And affectionately, they call me Supercoro. So the word Supercoro, or the name Supercoro, he gave that to himself, because I think he thinks that's, that's what he is, you know? And I've just seen him come alive again. Kia hoki anō ki te rā kōrero i te riro hanga o taku māma i te kimi kimi noa mā, mātou. You know, hea ha tēnei mea te oranga, hea ha tēnei mea Te noho i tēnei ao mehe mea e tino rongo ana tō ngākau i te pauri. Ka whānau mai ngā mokopuna. He's found a new lease of, on life and, um, you know, I just keep sending the mokopuna to him so that <laughs> um, it keeps him happy. And I think if he could, that's all he would love to do. But, yeah, he is certainly super koro, but I will clarify that, that, yeah, he gave himself that name. I think it was a bit of bribery on my part. I've got a big jar of minties and beautiful jet plane lollies, which they love getting from Koro. But I said, oh, teihoa, teihoa, what's the magic word? Oh, super Koro, can I have a rari? Yeah. Hello, my darlings. 
Nowadays, performing for Ngāti Rangi Wewehi is left to Trevor's kids, Kahurangi and Enia. But his mark will forever be left on the group. In their upcoming performance for Te Matatini, they have dedicated a song to Trevor and his legacy. You must practice class week. <laughs> and so while you were away, we thought, uh, we'll write an action song, we'll write a song. Uh, and we thought we'll write one for you. And we're gonna do it. And we've only practiced it twice, so <laughs> come on. Boy. Tamariki ana kare pea o i tino mohi o i tino maramara nei ki, ki tō raua uh, motu haketanga ki tō raua he ue ue te whakamahi tēnei kupu mana hoi anō yeah, ka pakeke ana hau ka waia haere ki tērā Now I think back and I think about how grateful and blessed Ine and I were to have parents that we had. Ko tētahi um, āhuatanga motuhake ki taku pāpā, ko tana kimi i te wairua pai i roto i tētahi āhuatanga aha ko te aha. Kino mai pai mai. Ki au he tangata mā koha koha taku pāpā, uh, he tangata ngā kaunui ki te tangata aha koa ko wai. Kamu tu ahakoa he tamahine a hau, uh, kārongo a hau i te aroha uh, a te pāpā ki te tamahine, a te koro ki ngā mokopuna. Uh, ana ki te tangata ka kite, ka kite ai i ngā huarahi, ne? he tangata mākohakoha, he tangata uh, aroha nui, uh, <coughs> harikoa. Oh, e, e pērā pia te kōrero. 